Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I wanted to talk about the unraisable hook, which is a new-ish feature. It came out in Python 3.8, which I guess is a few years old now, but <laughs> uh, but I want to show you a few examples of how it gets used, as well as how you might configure it in PyTest. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so the unraisable hook is in the sys module. There we are. And Basically, it's a way to instrument exceptions that can't be caught normally. Usually this happens during garbage collection uh, or in destructors. Um, and typically you don't write destructors and typically they don't raise errors. Uh, but if they do, that is one case where the unraisable hook can get called. Another one I believe is when uh, an exception is raised inside or, or bubbles out of a thread. Um, I believe the thread runtime also comes, calls this, but... I'm not 100% certain about that. Uh, but let's actually make a little example of this. We're gonna make a class which has a trivially broken destructor, which just, I don't know, raise assertion error. Oh no! Uh, and if we were to run this file, and let's say we print, let's say we assign one of these uh, C objects, and then we unassign it to cause it to get garbage collected. Uh, you'll see that we get this output here, exception ignored in, uh, and then it tells you the function in which it got called in, which is this particular destructor here. Uh, and then it has a trace back for whatever exception that got raised there. This output here is a result of the unraisable hook. And uh, if I remember correctly, in older versions of Python, did it do the same thing? Yeah, it still did the same thing in older versions of Python, but you had no way to customize this or log it or you know, re react to this in any particular way. Uh, but in Python 3.8, there was there's this new unraisable hook. And you can set this to a function. Let's just set it to uh, this here, and we'll just print this info object just to show you what it does. This dot unraisable hook equals r. Yes, a little bit odd that you sort of monkey patch the sys model, but uh, there's a few other hooks there that are similar to this. Um, and there's no setter, right? But no, there's no set unraisable hook. It's weird that there are, uh, you know, other hooks that are done this way, but not this way. But whatever. What is this set switch here? I don't even know what that is. I'll have to look at that later. Uh, okay, but anyway, now if we do the same thing as before, uh, and then we do c equals none, we'll see that our uh, unraisable hook was called with this unraisable hook args object. And that's actually documented a little bit more here. It's basically a name tuple that has information about the exception. Uh, so you have your typical exception triplet here, the type value traceback, uh, the caller of the hook can optionally set a message, and it also lists which uh, function it was called in. And so you can react to this. Uh, one really cool use of this is if you're working in PyTest, um, let's say that we made a test here, and let's actually pip uh, virtualav, pip install PyTest, and we run our little test here. Uh, you'll see that PyTest actually gives us a warning based on the unraisable hook. You'll see here that we got a PyTest unraisable exception warning, and this is uh, this is something that PyTest noticed as it was cleaning up this test. You can actually turn this into an error, so you can make it a test failure by doing dash w error, and so now you can see here, we get a special test failure based on this unraisable exception warning. Uh, so by default, it's a warning. You can upgrade it to an error by using w error. You can also ignore it if you want to as well. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know, sometimes, sometimes warnings can be pretty annoying in PyTest, uh, and the docs here go over how to do that. Uh, but anyway, that's basically the unraisable hook. Uh, it was added because you know, so this is usually a mistake. Usually uh, <laughs> you don't want your destructors to raise exceptions. And so it gave people a hook into this to uh, properly represent what the problem is. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.